connected on high quality. They're messing with my, uh, I can't, I can't log on to high quality. I'm gonna stay on 3D, just so I can stay up. Hey guys, Rock by Wall Street. Hi, how are you? Building 7 didn't even get hit by nothing. And it went down. They pulled it. They even said they pulled it. Mad police. Ton of police. Yo guys, come check this out. Mad cops. Come on out. Check this out. Uh, this is Occupy Wall Street. I don't know why all the cops are here. I think they're in solidarity with us. Or they're going to arrest us all. One of the two. And I don't think they like us. Keep the scanner coming. Keep the scanner coming. I've never seen this many police for this little amount of people. All right, zip ties are out, zip ties are out, zip ties are out. Treat this out, treat this out, treat this out. Oh, shit. I'm gonna run, it's all right, it's shaking. Sorry, I gotta run. Yo, 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 you're gonna get cuddled, be careful. Be careful, there's a group hanging back and this group in front, they're gonna cuddle. Well, I'm listening to the scanner and shit. Are they actually talking about cuddling? Hell yeah, they're talking about it! Jesse! Yeah. Know your exit! We're so sparse. Alright, just everybody just. Alright. Let me, let me know one. This is what we say for life! Cuddling, cuddling, cuddling! Alright, All right, we're being cuddled. They're, uh, they're, they're kind of panicking. Alright, treat this out. We're being cuddled. Um, they're pushing us. Why are you hurting? No, I'm a journalist. I'm a journalist. I'm a journalist. Yeah, my Where can I go then? I'm staying right here. Turn? Turn around, face the wall. I'm not doing nothing wrong, man. Dude, we were trying to leave. We were trying to leave. Move in! 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 Right. Officer Wright has pulled me into the kettle. Do we have to do something to be able to disperse? Am I under arrest or am I free to go? Am I being detained right now? Yeah, for what? Can I know my charge? Alright, can I speak with your supervisor then? Alright, what, uh, what is the charge? There is no charge yet. So you're going to make up the charge or what? Oh no, I'm not going to leave. I was just asking why we were being detained. I'm not trying to be a loudmouth. This is the law, you know. They're over there, internal affairs is. Can they come over here and speak with me then? No. Why not? And police say they arrested more than two dozen Occupy members during a protest last night. I thought everything was going to be fine. And then um, quite abruptly, the police decided to cordon off everyone and arrest as many pe people as they possibly can. Police say they arrested 26 occupiers. Many of those who had been arrested gathered outside the police administration building this morning to wait for those who were still being held. They had absolutely no reason to arrest us. We were having a very peaceful march. There was a lot of our friends that got arrested for, for no reason. And honestly, it's for something that's the equivalent of jaywalking. There was many bikes and many cops and then a bunch of people were arrested and I don't know what for. According to paperwork provided by others who were arrested, they were charged with disorderly conduct and obstructing a highway. Now we did contact police for a comment, but they did not return our call. Right, have you seen us? <laughs> I love how the media is all like, they're dangerous. And I come out here and I'm looking around and I'm like, Jesus, you know, this looks like, this looks like a Ren fair. <laughs> this is not a meeting of dangerous anarchists. It's a meeting of anarchists. Not particularly dangerous. <laughs>
Many have said it's on a hiatus, but the sleeping giant isn't going away anytime soon. After the crackdowns on encampments across all major U.S. cities, many protesters gathered to regroup and re-energize the movement. Consider this as like a convention, and people here are delegates for their Occupy groups. And I've heard a number that there are about 92 different Occupy groups represented here. This is a five-day gathering for Occupy Wall Street protesters, the first national gathering in the entire country since the inception of this movement. This gathering is a little bit about defining what, what are our strategies. Are we, really, are we really about marching against police? you know, against police repression, or are we really focusing on the big financial institutions that control our democratic process? There has, we have to start showing as a community an alternative to the system that we're in right now. The first drone strike in Pakistan under President Obama, three days after he was elected to office, killed a member of the peace community, his family, the shopkeeper, two neighbors, this young boy was the only survivor of that attack. Innocent children killed by U.S. drones, estimated 175 of them in Pakistan alone. These drones are coming home to haunt us here. The drone industry wants every police department in this country to have its own drones. There's a problem with that, though. Police departments are being squeezed budget-wise just like every other department in this country. They don't have the money to buy these fancy drones. Well, there's a solution to that. Homeland Security. Homeland Security is giving money to police departments to buy drones. Raise your hand if you've seen the militarization of your police departments here at home. Raise your hand if you think the Occupy movement is the victim of militarization of the police department here at home. The American people are boiling frogs right now, and they're having their rights fleeced. And so it is most important now, if we don't take a stand now, there's nothing left to stand for. We've got to fight against the entire war economy. We've got to bring our troops home from around the world. We've got to close yeah. the over 800 bases that we still have occupying other people's lands. We have to have an economy that is life-affirming that is one that is compassionate, that has compassion for our brothers and sisters suffering in the United States and around the world. Power to the peaceful, ground the killer drone, stop the killing. Thank you. It's not about everybody having the same answers. It's about everybody asking the same questions. And that's what the Occupy movement is doing. We're, we're questioning authority. We're questioning our government. We're questioning the Federal Reserve. We're questioning um, big banks. We're, we're, we're questioning everything. Police brutality, um, illegal foreclosures. We've gotten houses back for people that have been kicked out. We feed homeless. We're working on reopening schools. We're working about teaching people how to live uh, a life without dependence on the government. Um, we don't need oil. We don't need Monsanto. We don't need a genetically modified food or GM. I mean, it, I've said this before, but uh, I mean, I'm not going to tell you guys what to do. I'm, I'm all for whatever the fuck you want to do, you do it. But instead of going out with a can of spray paint and defacing a, a bank, why don't you go to a public park and dig a garden and plant organic food? Why don't you go to a school and educate the kids on what we're doing here. Why don't you go plant trees? Um, why don't you, you know, invest your time in how to how to learn how to use solar panels or uh, um, wind power? Um, I mean, there's so much shit that goes on that, that nobody even sees, and uh, mainstream media only covers maybe maybe two percent of what happens in Occupy. And 1.99% is usually negative. So uh, you really can't get your information from uh, the mainstream media. Um, what I hope to see happen is in about, I would say, I would say one to two years um, that Ustream and independent journalism takes over. Uh, we won't need mainstream media. I don't know if you guys saw the first day that we were here. Um, we tried to uh, set up an encampment in a public park. It's day one of the Occupy National Gathering. We're here in Philadelphia. We're here in this park where people were setting up their tents to occupy and camp and sleep tonight. 
at which point the National Park Service and the police came in and tore it down, made several arrests. For the next 15 minutes, a lot of violence in, uh, between the police and demonstrators broke out. Clashes and animosity and screaming and a lot of aggression broke out. Bike cops coming. Here they come. And uh, a few people got arrested. I think I don't even know how many, but I know um, one of our one of our mates is in federal prison still. He was supposed to get out Monday, and he's still in there. Um, so there really is no real law set in stone. It's basically a bunch of guidelines. Well, in my personal opinion, because if you got two, three billion dollars. The law don't apply to you. You're gonna buy the law. And, uh, it's just pathetic. I'm wondering why... The reason I was sitting down here and the reason yeah. I got so ticked off is because this... I see this as a public space, and yeah. I don't understand why... I pay Philadelphia taxes, and I don't understand why... We just don't, we just don't want you to beat anybody or anybody to tune y'all up. We're not stopping anybody from protesting. Look, keep doing what you're doing, guys. What about, what about the other night on Sunday when you stopped us? I got what? stopped and I got arrested. I got killed and pushed into a freaking... to a gate and hurt. I am sorry. Sometimes we're assholes. I am sorry. We, sometimes cops do stupid things, and sometimes your emotions get tied up in this. It's unfortunate test. Well, Hopefully things will get better. Hopefully. I'll tell you one thing, though, and it's the truth. As any policeman, they read the First Amendment over police radio. You know that, right? Those of y'all. Congressman shall make no law. <laughs> Remember? Yeah. yeah. My name is Ray Lewis. I am a retired Philadelphia police captain. But then I read about this Occupy movement, and I agreed with everything this movement was about. I saw how the movement was trying to be marginalized by corporate media, and I realized that by coming down in uniform, I'd be able to combat that strategy of corporate media. Well, as you know, Occupy has been very repressed uh, by the police departments, and, you know, I... I believe it comes from the top down. It's probably Department of Homeland Security. Would you agree with that, first Absolutely, of all? Yeah. This okay. Is not, this does not originate from the officers on the street. This comes down from uh, higher authorities, Homeland Security, even CIA is involved, mm -hmm. FBI, mm -hmm. and then that comes down to our mayor, and the mayor pays it down to the police commissioner. Right. Right. So the the policemen are essentially following orders. That's all they're doing. Right. I can relate to those occupiers who are so frustrated that they have so much vent up uh, anger towards the police for being oppressed that they want to vent and shout at the police and uh, express their anger to the police. But what I say to them is you've got to keep your eye on the goal. And the goal here is the su success of this movement, which is to end corporate rule of our lives and our earth. And if you keep your eyes on that goal, you'll realize that sometimes you have to control your anger because we need the police on our side. This is not going to be uh, something one without the police and mainstream America on our side. And when we do vent anger towards the police, it is always recorded, it is always shown on the news, and right away we're turning off mainstream America. They love the police. And they are not going to join a movement where a number of the participants are against the police. I, I was the one that filmed uh, the guy that got tased in D.C. That was uh, that was my video. Why are you coming at me? Why are you coming at me right now? Why are you coming at me? Please, get away from me. I have done nothing wrong. I have done nothing wrong. Are you guys in I have done nothing wrong! I have done nothing wrong! I have done nothing wrong!
Tell me what I'm being arrested for. That's illegal Tell too. That's what another lawsuit. Why is he being arrested? What's nothing. your badge number? He did nothing wrong. Right. He's asking for an ambulance. Somebody call 911 and get an ambulance here. You guys need to let him go. Are you fucking kidding me? He's having a seizure. That's a fucking lawsuit. That's a huge lawsuit. But it's just worth so much money. That is not an ambulance. That is not an ambulance. We need an ambulance. We need an ambulance. No. No. I'm not moving, yo. He's gonna have a seizure, yo. Where's the ambulance? Where's the ambulance? No. Back up, back up. You guys gotta move. No, I'm waiting for the ambulance. We gotta wait for the ambulance. Come on, man. Come on. No, this guy's gonna have a seizure in there, yo. This guy's gonna have a seizure, and you're not gonna take him to an ambulance? You just promised us an ambulance. We'll get him to a hospital. Right now, you promised me. We are. Take him to this is fascinating. Yeah, but the ambulance has medical treatment in it. I don't know how to do that. I don't know. No, she just tased him for having his hands in the air. I saw the whole thing. You don't know how to do shit. Don't let him leave. Don't fucking let him leave. You gonna start pushing people? You gonna start pushing people? Yeah! This is good footage! Yeah! Holy it shit! Let's not get help by the car that she hurt. Let's go! Let's go in the ambulance! It's not safe here! Keep going! It's not safe in the back of that fucking van! Yeah, the taser bed. Yeah, that was pretty crazy, wasn't it? That was my buddy Lash. He's actually here today. When I started this, I was one of the people arguing, oh, police are part of the 99% too, we need to reach out to them, we, we need to create a big tent, we need all the unions, but experience has taught me different. If you don't see it, if you, it's not been your experience, then, then you don't believe it, because you're raised to believe that things are a certain way. And that's privilege, I think. It's a certain, it's a privilege to believe that things are the way that we're taught that they are because it means you haven't had the, the personal experience of being brutalized. Like I, Just for doing what I'm doing right now, standing on a sidewalk filming things, I've been arrested, I've been beaten up, I've been pepper sprayed, and, and how can you not be angry? I have no answers here for this one. I really don't because the anger is justified. It's, it's inhuman to treat human beings this way, to violate their rights, and then to charge them with fraudulent charges. To, to hurt human beings simply for assembly like this. For an order like go and arrest a couple people at random playing music after a 99 mile march, then they, the whole idea is to break our spirit and end the day on, on their terms. And that didn't work. And they seemed determined to just break their spirit with these random rule changes and random arrests and to end the day on their terms. And whatever the powers that be can do with whatever fucked up orders they can give from on high to change it into protesters versus police instead of protesters versus the power establishment, that's what they want to do. And of course, there is a false dichotomy there because the police are part of the power establishment. They're, they're the army of the rich. They're the army of Wall Street. Bloomberg himself called it his army. I have my own army in the NYPD, which is I'm the seventh biggest army in the world. I don't know, man. I was just at the sleepful protest. You should have been filming visually. It's so stressful. We are forming the You're forming the future. We're, okay, seriously, I don't know where you guys went, but the visioning process was a nightmare. It's really, really, really difficult to make this thing work. We're going to make it work, dude. Don't worry. It's really easy to get a fly or it's going to crash and burn. It's going to fly. I know people say fuck the GA, fine, fuck the GA, then let's please offer a solution because right now as a facilitator, having to be facilitating for the last nine months of my fucking life in a horizontal way. I guess we'll find out, right? We'll find out. It's, it's really frustrating. Dude, tomorrow's a new day. Well, today's a new day. And it was great talking with you guys and I'll see you all tomorrow, I guess.
So, uh... We're, we're, we're tomorrow's history. We're just kind of chilling. What's up, guys? Say hi, say hi. Hey, ooh. Enjoying yourselves? Having a good night? Ready for tomorrow? Or ready for today? Hey, my man! We're just talking about you, dude. We're just talking about the Taze incident. So, uh... Don't get tased again tomorrow. And if you do, I'll film it. I promise. I know you would. Right. Just people just hanging out, kind of talking, chilling, having a good time. You guys ready for today? Well, tomorrow, today, tour the deal? It's history. Here we go. See y'all tomorrow. <laughs> demographic that rules throughout this country and uh, more streets that we've been able to combine ourselves into a more local street dichotomy more than anything. We don't really have any legislation that might get passed initially, but we're still in the stages of our movement. That's perfectly fine. But we're still the 99%. Actually, really, the 99% isn't even fucking aware of us. Maybe about 25% of America is aware of us, and then there's another 40% that really do know of us, but they don't really give a shit, but they don't know that they're about to lose their homes in, like, the next year because, you know, Wells Fargo and America. They don't really give a shit about them, so fuck them anyways, and they're just gonna go off and fuck themselves in the end run. They'll be setting up tents and parks. But we're the 99%. We're the 99%. We're the 99%. We're the 99%. We're the 99, we're the 99 I swear to God, if I hear that goddamn chant one more time, I'm gonna fucking rape someone in the face. <laughs> I believe that. I believe that little gem. That little gem started off about five minutes ago. You said that was called. Um, and it's called. Why are you following me, media guy? Why are you following me, camera guy? Why are you following me, camera guy? Hey, you guys! I'm back. So two minutes until the march, probably is what I hear. Here comes the hollies. So right now people are talking about. I know you're right. Here come the police, dude. Holy. Helicopters are now joining us. Police are gearing up. Players in front. Here we go. Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. Why did you always say that? I don't even get it. pumped up. Here we go. I'm live from NACAT. Tweet this out. Biggest march of the whole NACAT is happening right now. Holy smokes, I'm excited. Holy crap, it keeps going and going and going. March is still coming out of the park right now. It's blocks long. They're already in the, they're already in the street. 500 probably. Maybe more. Maybe more. I don't even know. Lawyer's coming up at the end, and here comes the Statue of Liberty puppet bringing up the tail end of the march. And let's march. Oh, shit, they all got glasses on. Oh, they're cameras. Hand shoe, guys, hand shoe. Look at it, read it, find it. Don't break the law unless you feel threatened. Lawyer's got video cameras also, so it's very good. Hello, world. This is Daryl reporting for Occupy Harrisburg at the National Gathering in Philadelphia. This is the final march of the week-long celebration. We're joining with members of the Tea Party movement, Move to Amend, everybody else. This is what it's about. This is about people coming together and telling the government we ain't taking their shit no more. This is a peaceful protest, police. I know you're watching my stream. This is a peaceful protest. There's kids in this march. Mainstream media is here covering the march. This is the first time I've ever seen them here. So I'm, I'm happy for that. But it also... Oh, it's RT. Of course RT is here. They're the best. Let's get up front a little more.
Give a man a gun and he can rob a bank. Give a man a bank and he can rob the nation. Uh, that's exactly what's happened here in our country. And if you're not aware of that, you've been sleeping. Veterans for Peace, they stand in solidarity with us. Occupy stands in solidarity with them. There is a sign over there that says Google Building Number 7. Several structural points had to be taken out all at the same time. The building is fall and perfectly straight down the end on its own footprint. It is not feasible in business as we know it today that Building 7 is exploded by the trust the government. Look what they did to Native Americans. This is a country founded on the genocide and displacement of an entire people. We need to do things differently. So there's a shooter on the run and they say it's a good reason to shut this all down over the scanner. So uh, just stay, stay together. And now they're saying the shooter's trying to take cover in the march so they say it's a good reason to shut us all down. Oh, that's all a bunch of lies. Right. We're headed towards Independence Mall. This is about the point where things can get hairy. We're now leaving, si about to leave city grounds. We're moving on the federal ground. Whenever we step on the federal ground, the stakes go up. Right now? Yeah, we're gonna. That's where we're going. I know. I think. I don't even. Yeah. All right. It's like right down. But they're not gonna let us in. But yeah, they said that they're not going to let us in. Showing you this, there is a police presence ahead. So far, they've just acted as guides for us through the city. But you never know when the police will change their tactics. They've been known to do it without any provocation. They get orders from above, and then they have to act. It's been heard many a times from an occupied movement to the police, throw down your guns and go home. They do that, they lose their job, and they become unemployed just like so many of us. There, there, there has to be an answer, and my answer to them is to start looking for another job today so you will have income and you won't be put in a situation to oppress your own people, your own cousins, your own brothers, your own sisters, because they're out here. The job of a cop is very difficult, very dangerous, but when it comes to using your police might to beat down the people, that's when they've gone too far. Wow, we just came into a lot more police. Police now blocking the steps. We're corralled, we're corralled. So many cops over there. They're pushing people back right now. They're bringing in more cops. Horses are here, here comes the army of police. Oh, fuck this, dude. We need an exit. We need an exit. Where's an exit? Find it. All right, all right. If we need to, if we need to, we go. I'm staying to stream though. Um, we're being corralled. There. Holy shit. Oh, tweet this out. Tweet this out. Tweet this out. A thousand more cops coming. Just about. All right. The marches are kind of panicking. We have no exit. I don't know where the cops came from. I hate that. All right, I'm getting the fuck out of here, dude. We gotta get the fuck out of here. They're gonna arrest people. Come on. I'm getting on the other side, dude. There's a lot of cops. What'd you get arrested for, man? I didn't move fast enough. You didn't move fast enough? What's your name? Hey, brother, what's your name? B R E N D A N. K E L L Y. K E L L Y. August 21st. August 21st. 1986. 1986. Brendan Kelly, August 21st, 1986. He was arrested because he didn't move fast enough. Is that it? I was asked to move by Lieutenant Davis. Okay. And I moved to the edge of the sidewalk. Okay. He asked me to move further. Okay. He asked me if he owned the sidewalk. Okay. He arrested me. So, uh, what do you think the charge is going to be? 
sort of like hey guys, happy Independence Day! Yeah, look at all these police officers. Helicopters over top. Happy Independence Day, guys. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so another civilian just said, "Very not freedom." More bike police are coming. Where are we going? Can't hang here. Can't hang here. Keep moving. Keep moving. Okay. They're holding them in there until this shit's over over here. And then they'll either mass arrest them or just let them go. Singing over there, just going on. We are united free, this occupation is never leading one. We are the people too, we are united free, this occupation is not leading one. We are the people, we are united free, this occupation is not leading one. We are the people too, we are united free, this occupation is not leading one. The worst part is it all happened just after everybody said welcome to Philadelphia. Independence Day, my dick! Let our people go! Let our people go! Let our people go! Who do you protect? Who do you serve? Who do you protect? Who do you serve? Happy Independence Day, folks! Thank you for being our witnesses! Thank you! Your tax dollars hard at work right now. Can I get a witness? No justice. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, look over there. It's Iraq. Oh wait, that's United States. The people over here are the one. This is the hive mind down here, people. Okay, face the camera down. That's your hive mind that doesn't give a crap about what's going on right now. The people locked in right there. Those are your, your free last, thinkers. That is our country's last hope. Something is Something's going on over there. There's an arrest being made in the distance. Watch the fireworks without the sun. You gotta leave the sun. Here. What? You can't take the sun. Why? Either you want to watch it or you don't. Why? Why does he and I have a First Amendment right to watch fireworks in Pennsylvania? I'm done talking. Why? That's your choice. So, so he doesn't have a, a First Amendment right in Pennsylvania? Leave it here. Why? Right. Take it. The fireworks. Thank you, sign crew. I'd do it if I were you. They're not gonna arrest you for having a sign. You're going to arrest this man for Go carrying back. a sign, no, not officer. With a sign. Not with a sign. Not on the 4th of July. Really? No. Honestly. So, honestly. No honestly. First watch it with the sign. That's no the First Amendment on the 4th of July. That's the word? That's not the law. No first That's the word? There goes a man who was arrested for carrying a sign on the 4th of July. What's your name, sir? Say your name. Say your birthday. Vitale. What's your name? Anthony Vitale. Thank you, Anthony Vitale. I got you, Anthony. Hey, man, thank you for standing up for my First Amendment. You're a fucking hero in my eyes. Thank you. Having a piece of cardboard or plastic, what have you. Why is this What? What just happened to you? Um, the cops weren't letting anybody through because of signs. I, I had a sign and I and I still just I, I was just walking with the sign. They grabbed me up, they put their handcuffs on me, they took me to the side and they said, listen, uh we're gonna, we're gonna go to uh, we're gonna go to jail, yada yada yada. He came back five minutes later and told me he let me go. The only reason why he did why, why they detained me was was to get the sign out of my hands. They didn't want me to hold the sign. Because they, they wanted to take away my freedom of speech. That's basically what happened. Took away my sign. It said declare interdependence. Declare interdependence. Of course, you never get any justification out of the officers. They never tell you why. They say it's just my orders and I'm just following it. I'm sorry, but in the, I don't just do things because I'm told it's the, the thing I should do. I want to know why I'm doing it. And if an employer can't tell me why I'm doing it, I'm not doing it. But, you know, people that are drawn to being officers, they just want to be told what to do. I'm sorry, but I, I think. Mic check! Mic check! Mic check! Mic check! I occupy! I occupy! Because it is the only thing! Because it is the only thing! That makes sense! That makes sense! Mic check! Mic check! I occupy! I occupy! Because the only thing! Because the only thing! That has made this a better place! People. It's is the, the people, people standing up, standing up, and fighting, and fighting. And fighting.
what's right! For what's right! right. Power to the people! Power to the people! Alright, at least as far as I'm concerned, the Occupy final national gathering march has ended. What do you think we should do? No idea. Should we kettle the cops because they're trying to kettle us? We don't have enough people over here. Everyone is over there. Everybody just dipped and they're, they're going to regroup. Homeland Security, special units coming. There's a rest coming, folks. All right, guys, it's about to get touchy here. Oh, God. Police now lining this sidewalk. There's so many innocent people that aren't even involved with Occupy here, so it really is helping. That's the only reason they haven't mass arrested everybody in there because they're uh, afraid of the public uh, joining us, yeah. All right, we're being kicked off the uh, barricade. All right, so the officers just told us we had to get off the uh, gate. So they're telling us to keep moving. So, uh, yeah, 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 we're going, we're going, we're going. All right, they're not, they're not telling anybody else that they can't stand. As you can see, it's selective enforcement right here, which is uh, also illegal. USA! 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 I can't join in this USA chant because right now the United States is not a government that I am proud of. I, am, I occupy because I want to change that. I want the United States that we were taught about in school. I, I want the United States that stands up for freedom. I want the United States that empowers people. I want the United States that treats everyone equally. We do not have that right now. Notice the power of a video camera, people. Occupy movement started in Wall Street because you don't know what's been going on over the past several years. Legislation has been put in place that's deregulated banking. There used to be separation between investment banking and security banking. Now there's there's no regulation, and what they're doing is taking your money that you invest in the bank and gambling with it. And that's why we our economy crashed in 2008. Nobody has been jailed for this. Nobody's been held accountable. Crazy night. How many arrests? Just two? I don't know, dude. I dipped out before. You've seen. you seen more than I did. You got the eye in the fucking hand. Right. I Yeah, get it way up. Let everybody know we're here. Survive! What's up, Occupy? What's up, Occupy? What's up, Occupy? We're back! Occupy! Occupy! 
Occupy!